Good morning, everyone. Our lesson for today is all about finding the percentage in a given problem. Let's read the problem. There are 340 grade 5 pupils of Dulumbayan Elementary School. 20% of them are enrolled in the Online Distance Learning or the ODL. And the rest are in the Modular Distance Learning or MDL. How many pupils are enrolled in the online distance learning? To answer this problem, we're going to solve for the percentage. Percentage is unknown. Rate is equal to 20% or 2 tenths. Always remember that you should change percent to decimal. How to change percent to decimal? In changing percent to decimal, just move the decimal point from the right two decimal places going to the left. Then, put the decimal point. Then, you can omit zero and the percent sign. So, 20% is equal to two tenths. And the base is 340. Okay, what is the formula how to find the percentage of a number? The formula is P is equal to R times B, wherein P is the percentage, R is the rate, B is the base. Then, we will substitute the value of R and B to our formula. So, 2 tenths times 340. We will go into multiply 340 by 2 tenths. So 0 times 2 is equal to 0. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then count the decimal places. In our factors, we have one decimal place. So we can omit one zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 68. This is the total of the ODL pupils. Okay, so let us have another example on how to find the percentage of a number. What is 40% of 320? So in this question, P is unknown. R is 40% or 4 tenths. And the base is 320. We will going to use the formula, which is percentage is equal to rate times B. Then, we will substitute again the value of R and B to our formula. So, 4 tenths times 320. We will going to multiply again 320 by 4 tenths. So, 0 times 4 is equal to 0. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Then again, let us count the decimal places in our factors. So as you notice, we only have one decimal place, so we can omit one zero in our product. So therefore, the percentage is equal to 128. And for our last example is, what is 60% of 400? Okay, P is unknown, the rate is 60% or 6 tenths, and the base is 400. Substitute the value of the rate and the base to our formula. So, 6 tenths times 400. Multiply 400 by 6 tenths. So, 0 times 6 is equal to 0, 0 times 6 is equal to 0, then 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Then count the decimal places in our factors. So we only have one decimal place. So we can omit the one zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 200. 40. Okay, I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.